it's, uh, it's uh, energy in layers. Mm -hmm. If you make it sta stable and you make it small or big, so eventually that that this synthesizing of matter directly from uh, light, I mean from electron mm -hmm. So we get something on mind, it was not just empty talk. Well, they did superluminar experiments in Austria a few years ago where they're actually able Austria to... Austria in Germany, yeah. Yeah, I know. So we, we know it exists. Yeah, yeah but, no, but still the uh, scientific community is not recognizing <laughs> even, even those experiments. Which are, I mean, mm. Of course, so, but... Mm. Because uh, they have what, the what, what does this bring to that uh, if we have the problem with the speed of light, we have the problem with the notion of time. Mm -hmm. And uh, right. the notion of perceived time. And uh, what we are currently in Belgrade doing with a team of people is uh, with this Academia Neuer, the Institute of uh, New Cosmology and the Science of Time. We are uh, creating experiments and a new theory that is uh, actually filling out the holes in physics. Metaphysics of new physics. Yeah, so we are working on uh, metaphysics of new physics and uh, it is all based on on, uh, on belief that we will understand the notion of time and how time is governing the physical processes and also biological system which are undoubtedly uh, uh, are unendowed with, uh, with, uh, with, with internal times. Do you think time is governing government? or is time being governed? I don't know. That's a question. We now investigate it. <laughs> yeah, that's a question. So we are going to perform some experiments also, close by, in Barrier, which is 30 kilometers from here. Mm -hmm. We have a friend who has a lab, so also, oh, really? also Boris has his lab. And I'm not in a you know, technical field. So. so in essence, every living being has its frequency, existential frequency. And we are experimenting on how electromagnetic fields um, influence the existential frequency of human beings. And uh, we are trying to get funds to recreate a smaller version of the Colorado Springs apparatus uh, that will be used to trigger our ionosphere, it's the Earth's ionosphere, so uh, we in theory know that uh, a couple of those machines positioned somewhere in the Arctic Circle can even uh, induce uh, images in minds of millions of people all around the planet. Yeah, that could be because the, the same uh, 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 electricity, which is actually positive ionizing currents are in the atmosphere as in our nerves. So it must be a kind of a very easy resonant uh, relation. <laughs> so it is all about the pulsating rhythm of, of the resonance apparatus and uh, we are able to stop time, is this correct? It's time stop machine, that's what we need. We are all uh, I mean, time machines which are traveling, but it's not desirable. We mm -hmm. want to stop. Mm -hmm. so we, want, we want to create a localized environment where we have no time? Yes. I mean, if time is, we take time as a natural law, then we see uh, if we apply that hypothesis, so we define it mathematically, and then we see how it works in experiments of uh, Tesla's technology because it is uh, the, the best design technology for that you can uh, wires and so on. So it's all very big. So how do you measure that? How do you know if you know? We may buy these standard, sta standard measuring uh, devices like uh, frequency meter, like uh, oscilloscope, you know. So we can, I mean, it's not uh, really exact, but uh, on the base of that, we can uh, reconstruct what is what is happening. So actually, checking our hypothesis. So we start with the hypothesis and see how it mm. how it goes. And hypothesis is uh, very simple: that uh, we have uh, infinity. The main property of infinity is continuity, which makes sense. 
but uh, synchronicity is relation in between parts of that mm -hmm. of, of that infinity. Mm -hmm. So those parts are electromagnetic entities, mm -hmm. and we try. I mean, experimenting with homogeneous electromagnetic mm -hmm. fields to uh, define mathematically so exactly what is the time relation in between those fields. So that is actually the most simple simple way to, to do that. If you if you work with a complex matter, it becomes completely uncontrollable. We don't know I mean, enough about that. But with light, we can do something. But not on the basis of Einstein's Einstein's uh, uh, equations and notions completely different. So on Tesla's uh, <coughs> direct physical interpretation of a simple standard and classical mathematics. So one, zero, and so on. And what is it physically? Mm -hmm. And then we see. Still not sure how you measure it. Well, it's time to play. How do you know time hasn't already stopped? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. Maybe just uh, a we, Yeah, yeah just we are searching. <laughs> if we find it has been stopped, we make when, Where there is no vibration, there is no time. Whatever vibrates is a living entity. Time is so vibration is measured by frequency. So you're oh, saying time, time is energy. Space is. Uh, time and energy also has a strange relation. It's not completely clear for Planck's constant, constant and so on. For example, two cats plus, plus three cats is not five cats, so we don't know exactly how it works. Does time create space, or what is the actual uh, relation between time and space? And uh, it's all being speculated yeah. in so you, the mind of Albert Einstein. So you I think of all these all these backing up of the theories of relativity of being banned in science to make it fit, or? Like it's too complicated, I think. I mean, uh, you see, nature, nature is so simple and exact. And exact. No statistics in nature or no differential <coughs> calculus in nature. Mm. Nothing in nature is calculating uh, before that happens. So there are simple laws. I mean, as simple laws, and not only not not, not only laws uh, uh, which are disconnected, but laws which are based on a very very hierarchical and pyramidal. Uh, uh, I would say uh, a harmony. So that's there's a kind of a harmony of laws and also of entities. And we have to uh, work with the generic mathematics, so mathematics uh, or, uh, which directly uh, interpret uh, the, the the generical uh, ability of of nature, mm -hmm. and not uh, describing by mathematics something. So we can say for one. This is one, that is one, that is one, but it is not a natural one, it is a human one. <laughs> do, you, do you get any support from like the world, other world religions like Buddhism? Because you got the Gaia sort of. Completely completely privately, we are doing it because we love the whole thing. Uh -huh. There is nothing. So we are working in completely different institutions, it is nothing with what we do. But the, the whole idea of the rhythm, Earth has a rhythm, and all its everything on it has a rhythm. It has it fits been in with Gaia. Years, yeah. thousands of years before. The shamans were looking at the stars, the sun, and they were uh, writing down the rhythms and the frequencies of, of their rotation. Mm -hmm. And um, everybody knows that uh, everything in nature is uh, interconnected. Mm -hmm. And uh, we know that even planets can influence, other planets of the solar system oh, can influence our, our, let's say, uh, unified mind human mind that we call the, the Earth's soul, so um, we, we cannot say that this is not true because if thousands of years before people have known 